So in 2020, uh, my grandson got murdered and my family, we kind of looked at things a little different. We need to make some changes. So one of my oldest sons came to Gambia uh, when one of his friends invited him here. And he told me how wonderful it was here, how different it was. And he said, Mom, you got to come and see uh, Africa. So he came in October. I came in December. And once I came here, it was like a wrap. It's like, why didn't I come here 20 years ago? Well, we sell products for men, uh, like brushes and beard oil and uh, wave uh, pomade. We sell uh, essential oils. We sell smell good products for men. We sell do-rags, just uh, a lot of things we sell. Uh, we have a pretty good selection for men. Everything I'm wearing right now is from Imani. It's my nails, my eyelashes, my earrings, the wig here, everything is from Imanis. So if you want to look good, come to Imanis. That's the right spot. It was easy to adapt to Gamia because wherever you have melanated women, we basically are all the same. We want to look good, we want to smell good. So I just basically brought to Gamia what we have in the U.S. My favorite thing in the shop there is their hair because they have the best quality hair you can have in the Gambia. When it comes to braid, wigs, we have human hair, we have synthetic braid hair. So when you want to look good, as I said, Imanis is the right place. Because as I looked around and seen the women here, they like the same things that we like. Whenever someone comes in here, I try to have a selection that's, on, um, that's affordable for everybody. So our prices can go from Three thousand dollars for a wig to twenty, uh, two, three thousand Delossies to twenty thousand Delossies for a wig because we want everybody to feel good. We want to have something for everybody. I find this wig more easy, comfortable, and easy to fix. Um, it's a twenty-two inch lace wig. It's easy to wear. You can use it anywhere you are going. It's comfortable, and you can only have that at Imani's Beauty Shop. We are located at the former Dream Park on Senegambia Highway, um, next to Motu's and also NYC Cafe. And you can find us on Google and all social media. We sell Mega Legend Cigars. It's a premium hand-rolled um, cigar by Master Blenders out of Costa Rica. Okay, so we have a cigar event coming up. It's Me uh, Legends on the Smiling Coast. And you can purchase tickets here at Imani's. It's uh, May 11th through the 17th. As you know, uh, 2024, as you know that um, Atlanta has, a, we come from Atlanta and they have a big cigar culture. So they travel to different countries and promote cigars. So this year, uh, coming up 2024, for the first time, it'll be held in um, Gambia, West Coast, Africa. So if you would like information about the Cigar Week, just go to the Mega Legend website. Thank you all for the people that have previously shopped here and thank you for, because I know we're going to have some new people coming. And what I want to say is we have a lot of um, basic things that we know that women need and men need as well. But if it's something that you want us to uh, put into our collection, just let us know and if we can get the products for you, we will get them because we will be adding on as we go along. Grand Rising Bad Family, uh, out here uh, getting ready to test run our drip irrigation system we've got the ladies uh, putting the uh, tomatoes right tomatoes uh, right up under the drip lines and we're gonna see how that turns out and stuff okay your guy wants some more onions who is this H let me turn this off all right family we are here on the final walkthrough of the drip irrigation. The final walkthrough of the drip irrigation. We made it through mile number four, mile number five. Let me make that correction, not miles, because the, the elevated portions of the uh, plots are miles. So we've made it through plot number four 
plot number five. Now we're on plot number three. Plot three had uh, some very minor issues and stuff that's being corrected right now. And then we got two more plots to go before being done. So uh, you can see it is dripping like it's supposed to. And uh, we're taking it from there. So had a couple of um, uh, emitter lines. That's what I'm going to refer to this henceforth as emitter lines. Had some emitter lines that were not capped off. And that's why you see the puddle of water right here and stuff. Okay. Now something that the previous guys put in that I did not like and do not like is those gate valves or butterfly valves right in the middle of the walk area so what I'm gonna do is take some uh, cinder blocks and put it on each side of these shut off valves to let everybody know hey don't trip over this or it's a warning that these are there so don't step on them so that's going to be my fix to that and again this is indicators of uh, of uh, not capping it off so still dripping thought I saw sweet juicy mama down here somewhere but uh, anyway yeah, we're going to see if we can make this work. Looking halfway decent on the sugar cane. Again, we got two 45 by 45 meter plots. Now, I'd like for that right there to be dripping right there in that hole right there. Right outside. So we'll go ahead and adjust that. Yes, sir. Let me, let me go over here and see what's going on. Yes, sir. All right, then. Okay, that's cool. All right. Okay, that's good. All right. Couldn't believe they put that in there. That was too small. He said it was too small. Uh, Smell it. Yeah. What was wrong with the pipe? It's short. Huh? It's short. Uh, too short, yeah. How they put that in there then? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can cover this up right here. Yeah. Then we got two plots left. Let me put this over here in the trash. Yep. You know, as it drip, drip. It shows you where the water is going, and that way you can put the plants right on top of it. Of the little drip. Okay, let me just get the trash. Hey, girl. Good job protecting everything. Good job. Still got manure. Give you a quick update on our dragon fruit. See right there, it's growing. And it's growing. These two have yet to show some new growth. And the fifth one, we're starting over from scratch on that one and stuff, okay? Because wasn't showing much. All right. Hey, let's hit the front first. Can you see it from here, guys? You know, as I was saying maybe a few videos ago, uh, it didn't look the way I had envisioned it. I thought, you know, you, I thought the original guy would buy 
a system that was already uh, designed rather than what? Who says something's busted? They said something down there busted. Let's go down here and see what's going on. Doug, you said something busted? Since we down there, we get to check that uh water tap. Set the bus that dog? I don't know. Let me check this. I want to see if this will come on. See right here? Hey. Hey. See? It does come out when it feels. He said the other one is connected to the main pipe. No, it's supposed to be connected just like this. We'll check it when we get down there. Anyway, guys, just wanted to see right here. Got tab. Just now? Yeah. Let me check it out right quick. Yeah. Where? I think these might have been damaged. I don't think no dog going to shoot in. I don't know. I thought, I thought a dog would like this. Yeah, you know? right all the way through it. That's what I thought. I think that's yeah. just a rip. If we can hook them two up, bro, this is a small line right here. That one right there. Let me see about that. I wonder if that's good enough to, to manage. That was water in the creek. That's what I'm thinking, dog. That that's what I'm thinking. Of course, you think that's too much water? It's water in the tree, so... If it was the dog, man, it'd have been all the way through it. I think it just was wear and tear. Anyway, if we want to hit these last two, we see what we got left. You know what I'm saying? So let's walk on down this way. Now, why? Oh, okay, that's the old system. Good evening, everyone. This is Legend with Mega Legend Cigars. Um, giving you guys a little bit of rundown on what's going on here, what's happening. We are in Gambia, West Coast. This is a great opportunity for our culture, the cigar culture, to come over and explore and experience a wonderful place, beautiful people. Uh, it's an excellent location to come out, network, socialize, do all the things that we do back home. Um, there's a lot of places in the States that do exactly what it is that I want to do here, which is have a cigar experience. So I thought when I came here for years, we were coming back and forth and I said, man, this would be a great place for people to learn that side of things to network and actually work together, do things together. That's what this is all about. Um, so without much more to say, I want to give a big shout out to the people that helped make this possible. Uh, NYC Bar and Grill, where we're shooting and we're doing the cutting light. Um, phenomenal food, great service, uh, great management. It's an awesome place. You guys are going to love it when you come here. Why be ordinary when you can be legendary?
Legends on the Smiling Coast of Africa. Mega Legend Cigars will be hosting the very first Cigar Week in Gambia. What you all can look forward to is the opportunity to be a part of history. Networking at its finest, stepping outside of the norm, and the beauty that Gambia has to offer. Fine Dining Five Star Resort in Bakadaji is where we will be lodging. So go ahead and get those passports ready because this is going to be something you do not want to miss. Along with this week, there will be many excursions and tours that we will be offering for you guys to check out that side of Gambia. Uh, party bus will also be available for those that want to join us with the party bus. They will pick us up from the airport and the party will begin right away. And as always, why be ordinary when you can be legendary? What it look like down there, sweet mama? All right, well, we coming down there. Just got two? Huh? Okay. That's good. She said she didn't see any leaks. Something other than the drip. That's good. Enough to... Enough to grow some, uh... Better be, this is a whole lot of money. We uh, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm too... I'm tired of spinning. I'm too embarrassed to tell them how much it costs. We gotta be embarrassed. It's coming back. Yeah, I hope so, sweet mama. I hope so. Yeah, we get to take it back. No, they're still in there. Yeah, it looks good to me too. Hi, babe. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, cucumber. Hey, 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 I got one down here, bro. I was telling him to pull him straight out. Yeah. See, this was a zigzag. What was, bust was something busted down there? Yeah. He said the pipe was it was too short. You see what I'm talking about, Tay? Yeah, yeah, we did fix it, right? Yeah. Hey, Moose, I'm going to pull this book. Oh, yeah, that's kind of long, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one definitely didn't get straight. <laughs> yeah, but like they say, you, it looks good, sweet mama. Oh my God! Now look at this. We saw earlier. Uh, why you say, "Oh my God"? Now why this ain't this ain't dripping? It is dripping. That's uh, dripping. Okay, but I'm I saying see a lot of dripping. You see? Oh, underneath? Yeah, they dripping. Okay, then that's good. And they sit dripping right there. That's good, right on the Tomato top of the thing. Plants are standing. That's good already. Yay! All right. But they're gonna be huge. She didn't? I think they, they told her and she moved on. Mm -hmm, I thought she did. I just don't want to be crowded like it was over mm -hmm. there. I, yep. had, I sprayed some things though. Good job, sweet mama. So it is standing. Let's yep. just hope it all works its way out. Where well, it's getting... Oh, what the... She went back to her way. <laughs> they weren't listening to her. I mean, she wasn't listening to Oh, her. we got to pull this up. See, no, we, we said one. Right now. We said one. She stuck two in there. After we said put one in there, they still stuck two. See how you got to check them, guys? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we got to pull that out, sweet mama. I don't like that. They're going to be very close. Yeah, I don't like that. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna fix that tomorrow. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, it's too much. Too much. Yeah, she got too many too close to each other. Yep. And, you know, tomatoes grow too good. Yeah. Okay. There's another. That's just a pinhole. It's going in the ground, but... We can always get something in the plastic. Yeah, that's cool. That yeah, that's not that bad. Mm -mm. Put some tape on it or something. Yeah, at least mm. it's going in the... In the yeah, thing. that's good. All right. See, the onions are... These are coming up, so... Mm-hmm. should probably turn these off because I think that's what they're doing, Jerry. I don't want to put some blocks in just for a 
Right here. Yeah, that's what I was doing. You saw me doing the blocks earlier. Oh, that's the big pipe down there. I don't know why. See how my people just throw the onions in there? Now we got to change our game plan and do it in accordance with the, the drip. Looks good. Whew. Oh my God. What is this going to look like during rainy season? We'll turn off the drip irrigation system during rainy season and go back to the, um, the old system. Got to break this dirt up. All right. That right there is the first one. And now we're going into the final one right here, guys. Huh? You know how to turn it off? Okay then. All right. All right here's the the last plot, guys. Uh, walk past this here. See, this is gonna be treacherous, man. Come rainy season. See what I'm saying? Got to navigate through this during rainy season. Careful, what? Man. Huh? Be oh yeah. See? Yep. Yeah, that water gonna be trapped in there because of the pipes. Whew. Oh boy. Well, at least we'll soften it up during rainy season. We can pat it down. We can see the drip has made it all the way back this way here too. I saw it all back here. Yeah, good job, sweet mama. Which Where? Is somewhere down here. Okay. It's right. not a lot, like I said, it's from the scene. Well, I don't see it, sweet mama. She said it's down this way. Oh, okay then. We can go down there. Okay. Uh -huh. Damn. <laughs> Scared somebody. Anyway, just a couple of more. Yep. Did y'all fall on a trip? Yeah. Yeah, see. See, and I got these. I think once the rain comes this It'll year, soften it up. Yeah. And it's going to flatten it out. Yeah, that's true. Just well, got to come through here with these boots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, settle in. Now, uh, believe it or not, it used to be watermelons right here. Yeah, it used to be watermelons. All right. So y'all going to continue to put some over here? Uh, I'd like to. I just got to uh, figure out a way to stop the birds from coming in and, and they were down here when I came biting on it. Be right in front of you, I think it's right here. This one. Yeah. Uh, That's not hurting anything, like I said. Right I went right past it. It's just a pinhole. Oh yeah, yeah, that ain't gonna hurt nothing. And it's going on the dirt, so that's yeah. Fine, yeah, that ain't gonna hurt nothing. We could throw a fruit tree or another papaya right there. And that's the only thing you can always turn it off on these, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So you got this, well actually not on these. We have to turn off the this one. Alright. Last one. And see, I don't like this. See how this is? Mm -hmm, that scares me down. That's what's that's what's gonna happen right there. Can I ask why we didn't have a stop valve for these? Is it because we ran out or he didn't do it or well, you guys didn't? Any reason why we left this one? Left it okay. Man, I ain't greedy. If I could just earn about three to six thousand USD.
per month from the garden it'll all be worth it and stuff you know what i'm saying it'll all be worth it the trials and tribulations the good the bad and the ugly it'll all be worth it if i can just generate that kind of income from the garden so let me know if y'all think it's